The sweeping reshaping of our economy and culture by the internet over the past two decades has created unique problems for policymakers who must grapple with how, if at all, they should respond to some of the internet's less desirable consequences. The rise of internet pornography is one such area. While previously only accessible through peep shows or adult magazines, the most hardcore pornography is now easily accessible online and remains predominantly unregulated. With that, it has raised some serious concerns that Canadian legislators have failed to fully respond to, including the industry's nefarious connection to illegal sex trafficking, predominantly of women and children. These links include online pornographic producers actually paying pimps for the purposes of trafficking victims to be used in porn videos, or traffickers enticing women with promises of a modeling career or other opportunities only to abuse them. Unfortunately, little is being done in Canada to target the industry's connections with illegal sex trafficking. Pornography, for example, was found to be protected expression under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms in 1982 in the case of R.V. Butler. This has made it difficult to draft legislation that directly addresses these risks without the potential of constitutional challenge. We can, however, look to south of the border to find one way we could approach this. The U.S. Congress has had some success in requiring record keeping by pornographers in order to protect young individuals and other victims from being exploited during protection. This occurred in the passing of the Child Protection and Obscenity Enforcement Act in 1988, which has been interpreted to require those who manage pornography sites to maintain records to demonstrate that all performers were above the age of 18. And, despite their own First Amendment protection of expression, these regulations have been upheld as constitutional. The U.S. approach might actually provide a workable and charter-proof avenue for Canada. Here, individuals currently require only an email address to create an online porn account on sites like Pornhub, upon which they can commence posting content without any verification. Requiring companies like MindGeek, the Montreal-based, privately-owned company that owns Pornhub along with many other adult websites and production companies, to keep a catalogue of ID for the individuals and their videos they host could dissuade them from hosting questionable content at all. In introducing regulations like these, our communities could become safer and the horrific human toll of illegal sex trafficking could be reduced.